They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of this place. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Now, remember to like, comment, and share if, if possible. And uh, this video is about what I call the finish line wife. Remember that, finish line wife. Let me say it one more time, finish line wife. Now, a lot of people in the manosphere touch, touch on about, well, you know, the wife this, the wife that, the wife this, the wife that. You know, it's a lot of stuff where they touch up on the surface. You know, they don't, they don't go deeper to understand that you can't blame everything on the wife and uh, everything doesn't start the negative aspect doesn't start with the wife always now the reason I call this finish line wife you know why I call it finish line wife is because that's the finish line a lot of men especially with how societies raise men to be where it's about well I gotta find a wife that's gonna live you know I, I need a wife I need to find her I need to cater to her and all that it's created a man where his priorities are not set correctly you know the thing is this the woman is supposed to reflect your ideals and your goals you know there there ain't supposed to be any compromise beyond that you know if your goal for example let's say your goal is uh you want to open up a bakery store, and that's what your life is going to be about. You're going to be a baker. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to, well, I, you know, you're supposed to look for uh, uh, the woman that you're not even looking for. The woman that should fit in your life is someone that doesn't get in the way of you being a baker and so on. Even a criminal, you know, if you're a criminal, you're going to look for a woman that, you know, fits and likes you being a criminal. It's, you know what I mean? So a lot of men and why the result and why I call his finish line wife is that it all ends once he gets a wife. That, that was his absolute goal. He has no other priorities. And, and in actuality, this is the most dangerous thing for the children. You know, a lot of, a lot of MGTOW channels, red pill channels and so on. You know, you speak about the wife did this, the wife did that, you know, the child support, the this, the that, the, the alimony and all this and that. But in reality, you're the one who actually, you know what I'm saying, who actually created this monster and allowed this thing into your life because... When the finish line is your wife, as in this is where it ends. I get married with her and, uh, you know, that's that's where it ends. This is the best aspect of being with her. This is my direct purpose in life is to get a wife and that's it. So everything after that, you don't care about. Everything after that that comes, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you're not prepared. When the finish line goal is just the wife and nothing else, not... Not how, you know, you'll be a family and the the goals and uh, responsibilities that's going to be demanded of this relationship. And everything around you will suffer. Because guess what? You know, she looked great. You married her. You made her your wife. As in, there's a lot of men, let's be honest, man. The goal of marriage is to claim that woman is, that woman is your property. That woman is your wife, your property, your territory. So, you know, that's it. You know, that's you claim her. She's supposed to be your exclusive. No other man can have her but you. She's your private property or your private, uh, you know what I'm saying? Only you will be with her and no one else. But when when the thought is all that, when, when the thought was complete that this is all, she is. She's going to be your wife and nothing else. You invite all the negative aspects that come into your life because she made perfect material as in she was perfect for you to just wife her up. 
marry her. Yo, that's mine. I'm going to keep that as mine. But everything else, you didn't, you didn't ensure that she could be a good, good mother. She could be uh, very loyal. She could actually last or have a level of respect for you. You know what I'm saying? Not that any of that matters with today's, you know, laws and all that. But that, that's, I digress. That's something else. But when you, when the whole finish line is that she's your wife, she's going to be privately yours and no one else, then you're basically setting yourself up and anything beyond her being your wife is set up to destroy and destroy your your existence because when you have a child with her you, your whole goal was she's gonna be my wife you didn't plan on what you didn't have anything on checking out her character or who she is you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of guys that get married like buying a car you know what i'm saying man i want i always wanted a cadillac so i buy that cadillac i always wanted this this uh, Corvette, so I went and got the Corvette. Man, I always wanted a wife. Let me just, this girl's gonna do. Let me just put that title on her. But you don't check out or determine whether she's motherhood material, whether her past and her past actions, you know, show any reference to her future actions. You know, if she was in the bar, you know what I mean? If she was, she was wilding out all day, every day, what do you expect? You didn't test anything else because your whole goal, the finish line was you making her your wife. And the biggest danger of this is that, you know, it's the children. The biggest danger of this is the children and how much they will suffer because you brought them into this world through a woman that didn't qualify to be more than just a wife. You know what I'm saying? That didn't qualify more than just that title in into your life. So when you have the kids with her, since you never thought of her as a mother to your children or, uh, you know, anything beyond just being your wife and the title of her having that title and that exclusivity to you, then all your children and so on, they're, they're in danger. That's why you see a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of guys in the manosphere like to talk about, you know, a child grows up with the father around, they're going to be a positive and so on. No, when a child grows up around a father that never, you know, their goal was never to have the children. Their finish line was the wife. The children are just accessories. You know what I'm saying? They're just add-ons. You know, that man didn't care if he had a child or not. You know what I mean? He just had a child so he could complete her goals. You know what I'm saying? That's why I see a lot of a lot of boys grow up and uh, they're still feminized and still, you know what I'm saying, raised to be basically subservient, you know, feminized men because their father, their father's entire goal, their father's goal for the, you know, the race in life was that finish line of getting with their mother. So whatever makes their mom happy, that man will do. His his children are just accessories to keeping her happy. He never planned on having children to begin with. He never planned on anything that would require nurturing or loyalty to have his children raised in the right environment. You know what I'm saying? They were just part of an accessory that comes with completing her happiness. That's why you see a lot of women, when they take the man to child support and all that, he's still, you know what I'm saying, you still going to see him fighting for the, you know, fighting to be in their life and all that because he wants to be close to her. You know what I'm saying? And his rage will come from not, not, not having his children around, but not being close to her because his finish line in life was her. You know what I'm saying? His whole projection in life was getting with her, making, putting that title on her wife and claiming her to be his exclusively. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see a lot of these sons and children being raised by cowardly fathers because those fathers, they, you know, those kids are nothing more than an accessory to begin with. They, they never wanted no damn kids. This is all about keeping the wife happy. 
so I can maintain that title that she's my wife. I never cared about having children or providing them with a mother or none of that. That, that was never my goal in life. My goal was to get a wife and keep her, keep that title that she's my wife. You know what I'm saying? That was the finish line goal of my life. Instead of, uh, you know, my legacy and uh, raising and having children based on my ideals and my desires and my standards. So you got to understand when a man's finish line is his wife and nothing else, that title of having her as his wife, then the children are doomed. The children are doomed to destruction because that that woman, he did not check her qualifications or anything beyond, yo, she's going to be my wife. I like the way she looks. You know, I could see me keeping this one. You know what I'm saying? I could see me keeping that one as my wife. You know what I mean? I could give her that title so she'd be exclusively mine. You know what I'm saying? The children and all that other stuff, none of that mattered. He never thought, never thought about it, never wanted kids. Or, you know, even if he had kids, it's all about, okay, the wife wants kids. Let me give her that so she could stay my wife. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys, you'll see them fighting. You'll see them still be, after the divorce, still be her friend, still try to stay close to her and all that because she is the finish line. That title of giving her and making her his wife was his goal in life. Nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So you have a lot of these guys, what I call finish line wife. You know what I'm saying? She is the finish line. So a lot of times you'll see the negativity aspect of that when she destroys the family because he didn't check her character, who she is, if she qualifies to be more, to be far more than just the title of his wife, you know, his his forever partner and exclusive, you know, he has exclusive access and so on, you know. So, you know, that, that that's why you see a lot of sons, even raised by these, you know, fathers always got their head down and, you know what I'm saying, they, they live for their wife. Their wife is the finish line in life, you know what I'm saying? And these are the men that tend to be far more destructive and dangerous because they they will kill their children they will kill their wife they'll be you know what i mean because that image that that title of her being his wife is more important than anything else in life and that man will be extremely dangerous to friends you know he's gonna be the type that always accuses you as a friend of trying to cheat or steal his wife because she is the finish line and anything that gets in the way of his finish line is the enemy you know what i'm saying and a lot of those kids raised under this type of man will find destruction because that man you know implanted his seed in a woman that didn't qualify didn't qualify to be nothing more than that title of wife you know what i'm saying that she got that legal certificate that said wife when in reality, she qualifies for nothing else. You know what I mean? So this has been the video called Finish Line Wife. It's basically, like I said, a man that his entire life is dedicated to running and racing towards the finish line that is his wife. Everything else is an accessory. And anything that he feels threatens him losing her as his wife and that title that he gave her his wife or losing it, he'll he'll destroy it. You know what I'm saying? And that's like I said, that's the type of guy that will uh, you know will uh, uh, falsely accuse his friends of trying to steal his wife, falsely accuse his friends of trying to destroy their marriage and so on. He's extremely gets jealous extremely fast because that's his finish line in life. His wife. You know what I'm saying? So this has been hold the truth hostage where. If the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Like, comment, share, peace. They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of